Welcome back on Thursday mornings. We like to bring you the latest entertainment headlines. And for that, we turn to TMZ executive sports producer, Michael Babcock. Hi, Michael. How are you? Good morning, guys. I'm doing great. How are you? We're doing awesome. We're excited to learn what's new in the entertainment world. So uh, let's talk Jamie Foxx. What do you know? Yeah, so Jamie Foxx has been in the hospital for more than three weeks. And, you know, people might remember uh, he was shooting a movie in uh, the Atlanta area. And uh, it's a movie with Glenn Close and Cameron Diaz. And they were almost done filming. And Jamie was getting ready one morning. He was about to head off to set uh, where he just had a few days left to film. But he suffered a, a medical emergency. Now, what exactly this medical emergency is, that's like the biggest question here because the family has has been uh, so quiet. They've kept things so close to the vest when it comes to information and specifically talking about what happened to Jamie. So, hmm. um, you know, what we can say, and, and I think at this point it's become pretty obvious that this is serious because after three weeks, he still remains in a hospital. Doctors are still performing tests, trying to figure out just what happened with Jamie. And I obviously make sure that he can stay healthy going forward. Uh, he has um, a busy schedule, obviously one of the busiest actors in all of Hollywood. Uh, Fox just uh, made a move yesterday to actually um, replace or temporarily uh, replace him with Nick Cannon on his uh, his show Beat Shazam, which is a, a big hit on Fox. So, um, you know, he's just trying to get healthy. He finally broke his silence. He said that uh, he was thankful for all of the prayers although it's on social media, so you don't know if that was actually Jamie who wrote the message. So you've got a lot of people praying and hoping he can uh, get out of the hospital soon and get healthy and get back yeah. to work. Wow, yeah, wishing him well and thinking of him. Thank you for that update. Mm, yeah. I know the next story we're moving to has to do with Kevin Costner. So what's going on there, Michael? Yeah, yeah so Ke this, I mean, this is a, another unfortunate one. So Kevin Costner and his uh, wife of 18 years, uh, Christine Costner, married in 2004. She filed for divorce this week. And Kevin Costner says he had no idea that this was coming. He says he was completely blindsided by her filing for divorce. And he's obviously incredibly upset over this. In the wake of the divorce being filed by his wife, there have been rumors that uh, she is doing this because he got an actress on his show Yellowstone pregnant. And that uh, has a lot of people saying, oh, okay, I understand why she has now filed for divorce. The problem is Kevin Costner's people say that did not happen, that he didn't get anyone pregnant, uh, no less an actress on Yellowstone. And so, uh, you know, he sort of feels like this adds insult to injury here. His wife has filed for divorce and now he's getting attacked by a lot of people online who have called him a bad husband. And he's saying, hey, look, that that's not anything that I did. So, wow. uh, unfortunately, they have three kids, 12, 14 and 15 years old mm. together. Oh, you got to think of the kids, definitely, in those yeah. situations, yeah. too. Well, Michael, we really appreciate you keeping us updated, and I know we'll be checking in with you guys next week. Of course. Thanks for having me, guys. You bet, Michael. Thanks, Thanks a lot. Bye. Bye. Well, it's time now for some live local music from brothers Alexander and Andrew Camp. They're going to be performing their latest single, Feeling Lucky. Guys, take it away. Maybe find a little fun Say goodbye cause this life ain't for everyone
What a good song. Thank you. Wow. wow. <laughs> Alex and Andrew Camp, uh, brothers here locally. Yes. Let's talk about what that song means because you're talking Circle City, yeah. you're talking Vegas. Yeah. What's it about? Um, yeah, it's just about going out. We uh, go out to Vegas pretty often. So it's really just mostly a song about freedom and the idea that you make your own luck. You know, yeah. luck isn't something yeah. that just happens to you. So that's mostly what it's about. Just this idea that, you know, it's not necessarily winning the pot at the end of the hand necessarily in poker terms. Yeah. It's more about just taking the chance to even try. That's cool. And that's more that. important than just, you know, whatever the outcome is. Man, it's oh. a great tune too. Catchy. You have it the whole is. crew singing. Man. You had everybody awesome. dancing. I'm already thinking, I'm like, okay, where can I listen to this? So yeah. I know the viewers are thinking <laughs> this too. Where can they listen to this song and, and all your music? Yeah, so it's out everywhere. Spotify, Apple Music, all those things. So um, you just look up Alexander Camp. That's my name. Um, and then if you have any questions about that, you can check Instagram and things like that. Of course, I post the music, where to find us, where to listen. So yeah. Andrew, what's it like performing with your brother and, and being here on stage with him? I mean, obviously you guys have been doing this for a long time. Oh yeah, I hate it, first off. Okay, good, good. <laughs> I, I, I love it, we've been, I mean, I've been playing for a lot of other people for a long time, he's been doing the same, yeah. so to finally kind of get to play together, we, the past few years has been really special. Especially our trips to Vegas, specifically, the, I mean, we spend a lot of time together and we shared a room growing up and yeah. stuff, so. It gets really intense, you know. Yeah. Oh, I bet. That's the right word for it, sure, intense. But, but you can good. see that brotherly connection. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Hard to avoid. We, tr yeah. we try to mask it as much as possible, but <laughs> it still comes through somehow. I love it. I know people want to know where you're performing this summer, so where can we catch your performances? Absolutely, yeah. We'll be all around. We'll, we will be doing shows in Indy. Um, some of them solo, solo, some of them full band. So right. once again, I'll post those everywhere on my website, alexandercampmusic.com, on Instagram, at alexandercamp. But for the most part, um, yeah, we'll be at the Raskeller downtown, which nice. is one of our favorite places. Oh, yeah. We'll be up in Cicero playing the boathouse on the lake. We'll be doing stuff like that cool. all across the city. So Man, great music. Oh, Definitely go yeah. get that new single, Feeling Lucky. You can find out more at alexandercampmusic.com. Give them a follow on social. Guys, thanks so much for being here. Thanks that for having wonderful. us. Thank you so much. The Absolutely the fantastic. Here. Love it. Thank yeah. you. Still to come, we're going to show you an amazing selection of local gifts to celebrate and honor all kinds of moms out there for Mother's Day. We'll be right back with our friend Mel McMahon from Indiana Owned right after this, friends. Stick around.